All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Year 1000 Days Challenge. This is day 320, so let's get things started. All right, so first and foremost, like what I mentioned, my experimental trend up is still going further down. In fact, today I actually has still another two loss trade. So I'm actually going to review and put the plan, I mean, put the trading setup on hold because it's been taking too much of an extreme drawdown in that perspective. So even though I do expect drawdown, I wouldn't say that this is a little bit out of the norm. So I'm going to review about it and put it on hold based on that. So I'll be trading it. So I'll still be continuing trading if the setup do, but I'll be a little bit more cautious than usual in that perspective. In terms of main trading account setup, there's nothing to be much of a concern. You notice that the pick was somewhere around here at 57,000, I mean 5,700 itself, and now we have 5,001. So the main trading account setup, everything is still going as per norm, nothing to be of concern about. All right, so with that said, going back in terms of the market structure update itself, the US market definitely still remains to be bullish. You will see over here on the daily chart itself, say on S&P 500 itself, overall we still looks to be bullish itself. Uh, nothing much has changed, we are consolidating nicely over here, although I do see some sort of reluctance in terms of waiting for more clearer signal or consolidation before we do look for a new setup or entry in terms of investment as well. But for dollar cost averaging, I'm still always adding in at a specific period of time. So for Nasdaq wise, things look to be really good, but at the same time, in terms of price wise, things look to be great as we are at this all time high region itself. However, if you look at this momentum, I would definitely not gain in the momentum in this perspective. So even though we are breaking the new highs, we are not forming in terms of stronger momentum. So that, that does back the question, is there going to be further people pumping it, or further people buying into these high prices itself? And whether is it sustainable. So in terms of investment, I'm definitely still staying put. In terms of trading wise, I'm definitely not looking to trade, especially if you're looking on a daily and weekly time frame kind of setup. All right, and moving on to ASHR, I definitely think it's turned to look a little bit more bearish. But you can see over here that we potentially has a very uh, so-called TDD slope channel, I mean, slope upward slope trend line itself. So overall, things still look to be great as long as you do not close below this trend line significantly or at least at most be not below this 200 simple moving average on the daily chart. And things will definitely still be looking on the bullish side of things. But of course, bear in mind that uh, overall, we are still looking good in terms of ASA sharp, but not so much in terms of KWAT itself. So KWAT definitely does look a little bit more bearish compared to ASA sharp. But of course, this could also be look on the flip side. There is a better opportunity in terms of buying in just as well. So I'm still standing on the sideline and adding in as and when. But for KWAT wise, I do want to see a clearer support or buying momentum volume before I do enter for a long setup if I were to look for a trade, but because of the slippages that you can see in terms of the gap up and close, it's definitely not in terms of suitable for trading, especially if you're doing for swing trade that carry on over day. If you're doing for say day trading itself, then maybe that will make more sense. All right, and finally for Bitcoin itself. So Bitcoin itself yesterday actually hit a major milestone itself. So even though you didn't touch the 200 simple moving average itself, I did actually also pull up the say, EMA itself, if you take out the EMA itself, you will see that it actually hit the 200 exponential moving average itself, which is again another indicator that is highly popular. So more towards for the traders our perspective, you'll see they actually hit it very nicely on that. So I'll just leave this indicator right there as a backup in terms of that. Let me just switch over to here and use performance instead. Okay, we just this thickness will be fine. So yeah, so this is something to bear in mind. So because I'm also trading it, I do realize that there's some sort of resistance over at this corner, simply because we re rejected like, on the 14th of June. And yesterday itself, we got a very nice indecision candlestick and now we break towards the low of here. So I do this towards further downside momentum, potentially retesting this 20 exponential moving average. So if a retest of the support fail, we could potentially still trend towards the downside, especially if you can see that even though we are breaking out with increased volume itself, it's actually still not as high as over here. So you can see that there's definitely some sort of indecision and we can consolidate in between these 200 exponential and 20 exponential moving average. Potentially we could have a much stronger chance to actually push towards the upside. Alternatively, we could also be consolidating and having some sort of a noisy pattern over here for the foreseeable say few months, especially when we take a few months over here to consolidate just as well. So in my opinion, overall, things still looks good in terms of long-term Bitcoin momentum itself, but do expect some sort of extended, potential extended uh, consolidation phase. Yep. 
And with that said, on the four hourly chart, I'm leaning towards the neutral itself. So even though we are above the 200 simple moving average, we're actually slightly below the 200 exponential moving average on the four hourly chart. So there's something to bear in mind. So overall, you do see a bearish, uh, so called a bearish divergent just as well on the four hour chart. So we do have potential pullbacks that could have potentially happen just as well. So for me, I'm staying right on the sideline itself. I'm not trading anything. And if we can retest over here and find some support and potentially have a great, or even over here, you could consider it as a retest, but without a strong volume confirmation over here, I still lean towards bearish bias in that perspective because over here is a key resistance. We did accumulate over here, but I didn't want it to break below. The minute it breaks below itself, I do have some sort of a negative or bearish bias in this perspective when it comes to trading. But does that mean I'm selling out in terms of my long-term position? The answer is no. Simply because you cannot always predict the right direction all the time, even when it comes to trading. And a lot of times, holding is actually a much better option, especially when it comes to longer-term pace. All right, so with that said, I've come to the end of today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.